Welcome to the party demonstration of IoT spirometer uh, digitalized one. So here instead of using the ball mechanism, we are using the airflow sensor from this one. And we know the air flowed through this mechanism. The system will calculate the how much of air was flowed through this and that will be calculated by the Arduino you know, and displayed on the LCD screen. And finally it will calculate the performance of the person and uh, then it will suggest the, based on the performance, it will suggest the food items or exercises and vitamins that will be displayed on the LCD screen and also we are going to continuously upload the same data there are the three parameters we are uploading into the cloud that is a FVC uh, that is a force vital capacity in liters means how much of uh, maximum air was uh, exhaled from the person and FE1 uh, so FE1 nothing but force expiratory volume per second and uh, so there nothing but per second how much of air was exhaled this is a total air exhaled and this is a performance uh, for once again and the total performance in percentage. So these three parameters calculated uh, from this Arduino Uno board and displayed on the LCD screen. So the main components are airflow meter along with ESP8266 Wi-Fi module to upload the data to the ThinkSpeak and 16 by 2 LCD screen to display the data and this is the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the input and output modules and buzzer just to uh, provide us the audible alerts. Uh, the system status and main is Arduino Uno. So coming to the interfacing connections, we have interfaced this airflow uh, meter at pin number 2 and pin number A0 to A5 uh, 16 by 2 LCD screen, pin number 8 and 9 for this ESP8266 and pin number 13 uh, for the buzzer. So let us see the demonstration. Before demonstration, first of all we need to on the hotspot. So change the hotspot settings, go to hotspot settings and uh, Configure the hotspot name to project 6921 without any space, without any capital letter and password should be 12345678 On the hotspots, on the data and uh, log into the ThinkSpeak. So after login, go to my, my channels and in that we can see the IoT Spirometer. So in the private view, we can see this previous data. Now on the power supply to the sketch. So once you on the power supply, the welcome message is displayed on the LCD screen and we can see one device is connected in your mobile phone so you can see the one device is ESP is connected in your mobile phone so after this now stay on the screen so we know the air blowed, air exhaled through this uh, di digital uh, spirometer, airflow meter. Then only the data will be calculated and uploaded to ThinkSpeak. So before erasing the old data, we can erase this data also. Before erasing this, we can download that. So for downloading, go to channel settings. And in that, sorry, go to data import export. Data, data import export for downloading the data. So we can see this in Excel sheets. Right. So along with the date and time, how many samples still now collected? Field 1, field 2, field 3. And after you took this backup, now go to channel settings. And in this only do clear channel. Only clear channel. Right. And successfully channel got cleared. Now go to private view. So now the old data got erased. We can see this. Now uh, we need to provide the Excel into this airflow meter. So just I'm putting this straw into this. Right. So you can see we are uh, uh, airway. So first of all, we need to inhale the maximum capacity of your lungs and then exhale to the system. Right, so FE1, so this is the maximum uh, liters of air exhaled per second and FEC is the total capacity. Right, now it is calculated. So when it is idle, then it is going into entering into the calculation mode. So the performance is 83.63 80, and our status normal and solution is guidance purpose. Right. So now it is resetting the total settings. Now it is uploading the data to the ThinkSpeak.
again we can get the inputs see the data is uploaded the previous so we can get the time also at this so called time and the FEC values force vital capacity and force expiratory volume per second is 2.23 so data is uploading so we get uploaded within 5 to 6 seconds now check with the person 2 So you can see the second data also uploaded. So I'll uh, regular check up for the abnormal. So like this, I will suggest the uh, precautions for the FEC ratio. Right, so we got the third person data also. So only the thing is before exhale the air into this uh, flow meter, we should take inhale maximum levels, right. Thank you.